Hello, good evening. It is Saturday. I did not like vlog at all today, or actually really much last weekend. You see little fig over there? Beep. Um, yeah, last weekend <clears throat> I went home for my mom's birthday and I really didn't have like that much to share. I, you know, I drove there and hit a lot of traffic because Caltrans was doing work on the highway. So it took a while to get there. And then what did I do? I know I made some stops once I got in town. Like I bought my mom um, a caramel apple at the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory, which we both really like. We both like to get these uh, chocolate chip covered caramel apples there. So I got us both some apples. I got her a dessert for her birthday, you know, for like the birthday cake and singing the birthday song. And we were gonna go to the movies. We were gonna see that new Jason Bourne movie, but we decided not to do it, which was fine. Totally a-okay. Um, yeah, and I just stayed one night and then came back on Sunday and then I hit a bunch more traffic, like driving through Ventura because Caltrans was again doing more work. Ugh. <laughs> So that kind of stinks. Yeah, and then this past week was just work. You know, I've been there seven weeks now, a full seven weeks. So I'm starting to feel more comfortable in my position and, you know, knowing the basics of what I need to do. Um, you know, basically like posting expenses, reconciling things against the general ledger every month when the ledger comes out, um, looking into expenses. Like today I was following up on a contract with the Double Tree. So, um, we have the master's projects group presentations there every year apparently so we need a signed contract people sign it anyways yeah so it works all right um i started playing that pokemon go game um so i've got that on my phone i think it eats up your um like the battery on your phone and it does use some of the it's not called why when it's not connected to wi-fi data i think it like uses up the data on your plan so anyways i'm careful to try to use it just like when i've got wi-fi nearby me or think i can connect to it so yeah everything's just been okay um today i just didn't think it was that interesting it was like laundry cleaning groceries got some stuff at trader joe's i actually did have a good lunch today um i enjoyed it until something happened with my neighbor that upset me this is what I had. It's the chili lime chicken burger. I just cooked it on the stove top and I added an avocado on top of it and then some cheese. I'll show you the cheese. It's just basic. It's like cheddar cheese. So it was good. It was tasty. And then I also was going to make some fries, but it was going to be too much food. So I didn't make it, but I got these garlic fries from Trader Joe's. So that's what I actually just heated up right now. So I'll have that with my dinner tonight. Let me show you the cats. I think Figaro has his eye on something. He's looking very fluffy. Very fluffy indeed. He's just been sleeping all day today. It's crazy. When I'm home on the weekends, I'm like, is this all you do? You guys just sleep all day? They've been on the bed sleeping. Sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> and they sometimes keep an eye out for the neighbor's cats. That's very exciting. They like to see the neighbor's cat buddy. Yeah. Let's see, where's your brother at? Is he sleeping? Oh, this is Stitch's new spot. <laughs> Stitch really likes to um, hang out in the corner here now. This has become his area. Excuse the items up here. Yeah. He's still waking up. He likes to stay here and then keep an eye on this window and peek his head outside and look at the courtyard <laughs> and see what people are up to. And if the neighbor lets his cat out, then, you know, that's very exciting for him. So here's Stit, or Fig. He's going to try to stick his head out. This is what the cats do. Sometimes they compete over this window because they both want to look outside. Huh? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. My good boys. My sleepy head. All right, so um, tomorrow I am actually going to do some activity, and it's related to the Fiesta right now in town um, in Santa Barbara. We have an annual activity called Fiesta, and it takes place over the course of several days. And there are different events. There's the big parade on Fridays. Um, yeah, so that was on Friday. And then today, Saturday, they had the children's parade, and then they have these different mercados where you can go and 
basically like a little festival. Um, they have Mercado del Norte at Mackenzie Park, Mercado de la Guerra at De la Guerra Plaza. So there's different places you can go and they have food vendors and they have like, I think games for kids. It's been a while. I went one time years ago. And then I think they might have like a beer garden or something. And um, yeah, there's just lots of activities. Our Lady of Guadalupe Church does something. I think they make, is it tamales? I don't know. They do something. So yeah, there's just so many activities all around town. Anyways, I have a friend, Mike, who wants to go to the courthouse tomorrow with his partner, Jared. And we're gonna go do a little courthouse tour tomorrow, 11 o'clock. Hopefully I can find some kind of parking. I'm not yeah, well, that's it for tonight. So bye-bye. Good morning, today's Sunday. I am getting ready to head out to the courthouse to meet my friends. We're actually gonna meet at the Sunken Gardens right next to the courthouse. It's, as the name suggests, it's like a lower level garden and they have movies there. Yeah, we'll do the courthouse tour and then I'm not exactly sure what next, like if we're gonna walk or drive down to their new place downtown. We'll see. Um, for now, I've got Stitch here begging for my attentions this morning. He's been like, give me pets and then some more pets and maybe a little bit more pets after that. <laughs> and his little brother is just snoozing away, I swear. It always surprises me on the weekends how much these cats just sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. That's what they do. They wake up, they eat, they play a little bit, and then go back for naps. <laughs> okay, I just parked. It's not too busy. I'm going to head down to Figaro Street. <laughs> i got to remember where I parked at. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit early to meet my friends to do the tour of the courthouse, but that's okay. It's all right. Oh, I see people have these eggs here. Let me show them to you because um, they have these eggs called cascarones, I think and they're filled with like paper machete and people smash them on each other's heads. So you can see the remnants of some like smashed eggs here. There we go. And I imagine there'll be a lot more of that downtown today. So let's make sure I know where I'm at. I don't really know where I'm at. I thought I, no, State Street's up that way. Okay, State Street's up that way. That's where my old knitting store was at. There's French Press, the State Street French Press. This is Anna Kappa, and then the courthouse is right across the street, so I'm super close to it. Okay, I crossed the street, so I parked right over there, and then here's the courthouse. There's a nice little entrance right there. Let's go see the front of it, and this is a one-way street, by the way, so all the cars are coming just one way. Some nice, pretty lawns here, bells. And I know I was just here around my birthday. That's the first time I went. I didn't take a tour. I just came here all by myself and um, looked around. Also, um, such a nice courthouse. I can't imagine. I know I got called for, well, I got my jury duty notice, but then they never ended up calling me. But wouldn't this be like a cool place to come and go and have to do your jury duty at though, huh? <laughs> Although you'd have to try to figure out parking. That might be difficult. And all the fountains are turned off, of course, since we're in a drought. Oh, there's my friends. Hey! You guys are here early. Like. Now I'm going to lead you on a little tour courthouse and those who would care to join, you're welcome. We'll start with the foyer right in front of the mirror over here. Uh, we have a lot of people that 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 have a Yes, of course there is a film about three for three levels for men to hunt. So I'd like to feature that. As you notice, it has a jumble of architectural features there. You have Five different roof lines on the roof. Hmm. A dozen different types of windows, uh, two or three different types of balconies. They aren't real balconies, so they have to start and walk out to the roof called the Aeneid. And the translations of the door of the window there says, Learn justice from this warning. Obviously, short jail being the warning. Learn <laughs> justice to happen to you violate the law. <coughs> um, this time we're. we're Back from uh, going downtown and meeting up with my friends. So 
I saw my friends Mike and Jarrett and we met up at the courthouse. My hair is looking very curly. It's still wet actually. Anyways, excuse me. So we met at the courthouse. We went up to the tower. You have to like walk up five or six flights of stairs and um, you can take the elevator, but I didn't want to take the elevator. I wanted to get stairs and they decided to do the stairs with me, which was nice to go up to the tower to look at all these beautiful views around town. And then we did the tour, the 11 o'clock tour, and it lasted a full hour, um, but it was nice. The guy who led the tour, um, the way he spoke reminded me of my grandpa on my mom's side of the family. So it was kind of sweet, but also a little bit sad. And just the way he talked, it was, it was similar to my grandpa. So um, <clears throat> anyways, he was a nice guy. He was a docent, a volunteer docent. and. Um, yeah, so he gave us a, a group, maybe maybe 20 of us or so, a tour. And we were indoors and outdoors. It's just so beautiful. It is so pretty <laughs> there. It's just such a, a lovely space. So yeah, the courthouse went well. And then we went over to my friend's new place and I saw it, which is great. And their dog, Buxton, he's this big, um, what is he? He's like a Doberman and he's got a little bit I think of lab in him but to me he mostly looks like Doberman like he's a big boy but he's friendly and happy and sweet so um yeah and now I'm home I just ate some lunch and um I think I'm gonna chill out and watch some Criminal Minds <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Criminal Minds on Netflix lately um so yeah sometimes I think of the episodes at night and I'm like oh god thinking about the show <laughs> Yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, so that's my Sunday, pretty easy. Um, glad I saw some friends, which was nice. And um, anyways, that might be it for me with this vlog. So a little short, but I hope you still enjoyed it. All right, bye-bye.